you had faith the size of a mustard, the size of a mustard seed, you could say to this mulberry tree, be uprooted and planted in the sea, and it would obey you. Who among you would say to your slave, who has just come in from pond and tending the sheep in the field, come here at once and take your place at the table? Would you not rather say to him, prepare the supper for me? Put on your apron and serve me while I eat and drink, and later you may eat and drink. Do you think the slave, do you thank the slave for doing what he was commanded? So you also, when you've done all that you were ordered to do, say, we are, old, we are worthless slaves. We've done only what we ought to have done. It's the word of God for the people of God. Thanks be to God.
power in seed size faith. Today is World Communion Sunday. I think it would be appropriate to look at ways that the church is in a worldwide expression and its peacemaking mission around the world. We live in a world full of violence, people. A world full of bloodshed. And it's easy to be overwhelmed by the challenge that we face to be peacemakers. To reconcile people together. How do you respond to war? Iraq, Afghanistan, the bloodshed in Iran and China, gang violence in our cities, bloodshed in our churches and synagogues and schools, mayhem on our colleges and universities. We live in a hostile world where the church, the church has to hold classes on what to do if a bad man comes through the door. Peacemaking is a challenge to the church. Jesus had a special word for those who would venture in to be peacemakers. He called them the children of God. In his second letter to the Corinthians, Paul reminds us that God has reconciled us to himself through Christ and has given us the ministry of reconciliation. The key is that we need to start small. Start making peace in our own families, in our own community. One of the most striking acts of peacemaking that I ever saw in my life happened in 2004 or 2005 in Lancaster, Pennsylvania. When a, when a man went into a little Amish school Chased all the boys out, kept all the girls there. They proceeded to kill them. Opened fire and killed those kids. It was devastating to that community based in peace itself. And how did they respond? Well, the government had died himself, and so this Amish community recognized that they weren't the only ones hurting and put together a meal and took over to the widow of the gunman who killed her children. And sat prayed for showing grace and forgiveness to move forward. We saw an example of this last week in Texas. At the trial of Amber Geiger, the Dallas police officer who thought that she was in her own apartment and shot the man who was in there, a 27-year-old man named Botham Jones. 